Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you Monday Minutes. Let's get started. Look, a lot of times, uh, a certain release in the software, whether it's for the Windows or Mac, uh, might leave you a little befuddled when you can't find the mechanism to scoot to different parts of uh, your song. I mean, look, this has happened to me in a sequence where suddenly this little bar here that you would normally slide left and right to get to the section of the song you want, it's not there. And if you're on a laptop and this happens, what are you gonna do? What happens when, you, when you're somewhere like this, or even worse, like this, and you're trying to get to a certain section and you don't see this bar down here? I guess you could restart your computer or reinstall X lights and all that kind of stuff, but I think there's maybe a better way, and this is something everybody can do, and I bet you didn't know this even existed. Have you ever thought about using chapters? We've used them in books forever. You use them in movies. You can get to different sections by simply going to that chapter. Well, guess what? X Lights gives us this ability as well. And this is really cool. And I've used this lots of different times. But just this last week, somebody was having a problem in Europe. And I'm like, huh, well, I think we can solve this. And they just simply didn't see this bar down here to go left and right. So here's what I think you should do if you are mapping or sequencing is start putting some chapters in and you get 10 chapters. And I think that's plenty for any sequence. How do you get to the chapters? How do you use them? Well, I'm glad you asked, but before we get into that, smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps and I appreciate it. Cyber hugs again for everybody. Let's get started. All you have to do to get a chapter in X Lights is right click in the area where you see the numbers for the length of the song in your sequence. If you right click, you're going to see it says zoom to selection, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's important that you put this somewhere in the beginning. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say zero is my starting point. And perhaps this first section here might be verse one. So I'll right click and I'll put one. And maybe over here, this will be two. And over here, three. And you keep doing this for the different sections that you may need to get to or are working on. And then I would certainly have one near the end, just so you can get to the end. Okay, so I have seven chapters set up in X Lights for this sequence. Great, so let's just, zoom in like crazy. And if you didn't have this bar here, uh, we wouldn't have to worry about it. If you are on a Mac, you would use the command key and press the number of the chapter you want to get to. If you are on a Windows computer, you would press the control key and the number that you would like to get to. So you hold down that key and then press the number. So let's say I wanna get to chapter seven. I'll hit command seven. And there I am at the end. Now, keep in mind, it's put it at the very beginning of the line where you would start. If I want back to chapter four, I hit that four and here's four. And I'll scoot this over just a little bit so you can see it, that that is chapter four. So it's easy peasy. This is one of these hidden nuggets that a lot of people don't think about when they're mapping and sequencing, this can really help you out. Don't let uh, an update or something going kind of funky with your computer keep you from getting from one end of the sequence to the other. It's really simple to do. Right click, put your chapter marks there, command or control, put the number in, and that's where it takes you. All right, I know this is short but sweet, but I wanted to get you out something really simple this week. I got some other good stuff for next week. So that's all I have for you. I'm Ron, this is Monday Minutes, see ya.